In this video, you will learn how to train to keep the ball close to you when you're dribbling. Best dribblers in the world, like Lionel Messi, knows how to keep the ball close to their body when they are dribbling, knows how to keep great composure when they have the ball on their feet. So sometimes you wonder how the ball looks like it's sticking to their feet almost. How does he do that though? How does he keep the ball so close to his body at all times when he's dribbling, when he's running with the ball? There are obviously different styles of dribbling techniques. Uh, some, like Mbappe and Ronaldo, those players, instead of using the techniques like Lionel Messi, they use their speed to eliminate the defenders, eliminate the opposition. Before we start to our session, make sure you warm up and stretch really good. Because when you are doing these drills, I want you to use the intensity as high as possible. Just like how you have that intensity when you're playing the games. In the game, that's what happens. When you are under a lot of pressure, when you have the adrenaline running through your blood, you are very intense. And that intensity, that's what I need from you when you are doing these drills. Because if you don't take it as serious as game, you're never gonna know how to adjust your speed, how to keep that ball closer to you when you're actually doing these drills. And that's what I need you to do. I need you to be in the same game mentality when you are doing these exercises. First drill, we're gonna be setting up cones. About foot and a half away from each other, six to eight cones, and you're gonna be dribbling and running in between them. I really want you to focus on keeping the ball close to your feet. You're gonna have to take smaller steps to be able to achieve this. Also, as you are taking smaller steps, keeping the ball closer to your body, I want you to get low because this is gonna lower your center of gravity and you're gonna be more stable when you're going shoulder to shoulders with the opposition and trying to dribble. And that's gonna really help you out to improve your dribbling abilities. I don't want you to be running with the ball like you swallow the stick. I want you to lower yourself, lower your center of gravity as much as you can. This makes it really tough for defenders to win those shoulder to shoulder challenges because you are more stable, you have better balance as you go lower on the ground, when you're lowering that center of gravity. Because you are learning to keep the ball close to your body when you're dribbling in between these cones or in a game situation when you're running towards a defender, you wanna keep that ball close to your body, right? So to be able to achieve this with these drills, you're gonna have to be as tight as possible to the cones. Pretend each cone is a defender and as you're getting close to the cone, make sure you make it tight and sharp turn and keep the ball close to your body. Very good composure over the ball so the ball is not getting away from you. Do not allow balls to touch the cones. If it does, go back and start again and that set is not counted. You have to restart. The other important thing to focus on here, lift your head up. You have to learn to lift your head up when you're running with the ball, when you're dribbling with the ball. Make sure you check the ball sometimes, but also always check the opposition, how close they are. So you can always start doing these drills by looking at the ball, that's fine. But as you improve, as you get better at it, as you get better understanding on how you can dribble in between these cones, you learn to lift your head up and you always look at where you're running. You're always looking at who you're running to. Because if you don't lift your head up, if you don't know where the opposition is, you're gonna be rushing and you're gonna be lacking confidence if you're rushing. So that's what we want to eliminate. When you see things, you don't rush, you have more confidence because you know where the opposition is. So that's what I need you to get used to doing these drills. This is where you get used to doing this stuff. You lift your head up, always pretend like you're seeing a defender, you're seeing the cone that you're running towards. This is really gonna make you confident when you step up on that pitch and dribbling towards a defender. Do this exercise 10 times, three sets. Second drill, we're gonna be setting up the cones again but about four to five feet away from each other, diagonally. You're gonna be changing direction as you are staying very tight to the cones. Make sure you focus on staying tight to those cones and change your direction rapidly, very quickly, staying very tight to the cone, but always lifting your head up. Always look at the next cone that you're gonna be running towards. Make sure you get that habit of lifting your head up and seeing where you're running towards. Always focus on taking smaller steps. Also focus on lowering your body, taking smaller steps and making those sharp turns, staying very tight to the cones. And again, I want you to do this 10 times, three sets. And our third drill, 
you're gonna be setting up two cones. You're gonna be setting up a cone right in front of you and 10 meters straight away from you. And you're gonna be running in between the cones with the ball. And as you approach to the cone at the end, you're gonna be making sharp turn back to the cone where you started. And then you're gonna be doing this 10 times and three sets again. Make sure, because you have freedom now, you don't have cones in between to be dribbling around them, make sure now you're even lifting your head up even more than you did with the previous exercises. This is where you're gonna be using a little bit of a freestyle. You're gonna be doing what you need to do. But when you're doing all these drills, all these exercises, make sure you use left foot, right foot, outside of the foot, inside of the foot, always change and always alternate. Always get used to using everything, using every opportunity, every option that you have. Especially in this third drill, I really want you to focus on keeping your body really low to the ground keeping the ball really close to your feet and using as high intensity as possible. So you are running just like how you would run in a game basically. I guarantee you, if you do these drills two, three times a week, constantly for a couple of months, this is gonna give you the composure, confidence you need to keep the ball closer to your body so you can avoid the, the potential reach from the opposition, from the defender, so they can win the ball. That's what these drills are gonna help you avoid during the game. Lowering your center of gravity, staying tight to the cones, and keeping the body close to your feet, taking smaller steps, larger steps, and actually alternating in between these will really help you out. Also, lifting your head up and looking at where you're running is really gonna give you that confidence that you need in the games. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop a like, subscribe to my channel with the notifications on. You can also find my playlist right over here. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you next time.